Hello and welcome to the Morales channel. This is Create a Web3 Game. When creating a game, we first need some inspiration for what game we'll create. Let's start with the idea of our favorite game. Players enjoy games and pick their favorites for a variety of reasons. Games connect with you emotionally, they fit your motivations as a game player, and some perfectly match your gamer type. Hello everyone, my name is Siegfried Kamgo. So my favorite game of all time is FIFA. If FIFA could adopt some features of Web3, you could mint these players on NFT. The information about that player is going to be stored on the blockchain. Over time, you can trade that player with another gamer and actually make some real world money from that, you know, from the efforts that you put in the game. FIFA is going to become just a very more interesting game for the gamers and also for the community. You can bring the power of Web3 and blockchain to your Unity projects with Morales. Let's see how we pick our favorites and learn more about a favorite game. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a Unity certified developer at Morales. I have over 20 years of game dev experience and more than 10 years experience as a digital nomad. I love spending time in nature and practicing sports, as well as drawing, painting, and making music. Each player's game motivations and their gamer type will help determine what are their favorite games. Bartle's taxonomy includes socializers, explorers, achievers, and killers. This perspective puts players on a spectrum. Do they enjoy acting or interacting more? Are they more invested in the world or other players? The latest research from Quantic Foundry has identified 12 gamer motivations, which determine the nine gamer types. Following this, we see that your motivation defines your type, which defines which game or games would be your favorites. The gamer motivation includes what are the aspects of gameplay that really resonate with the player. These include destruction, in-game excitement, competition between players, and more. Where do you see yourself in these motivations? Then from those motivations, you can find your gamer type. Most players have one type, or perhaps two. My types include Acrobat, with challenge and discovery being motivations there, as well as the Slayer type, where having a story-driven experience is important to me. Which of these gamer types in orange do you think work for you? At quanticfoundry.com, I put a link in the description to this specific survey, you can answer a few key questions and find out what your motivations are and what is your gamer type. Check that out. And in addition to the perspectives we've seen there from Bartle's taxonomy, as well as Quantic Foundry, with fresh eyes we look at Web3 and we see us as players along a spectrum, including investors, earners, and traditional players. So what's your favorite game? I asked friends and coworkers. Let's see one example of a favorite game. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Siegfried Kamgo. I'm a research associate and events coordinator at Morales. Uh, so my work at Morales consists of writing a weekly research report for the blockchain review and I also help in the organization of events like conferences and hackathons for Morales. Uh, during my free time, I enjoy working out at the gym. I enjoy playing football with my friends. Uh, I enjoy playing video games and above all, I enjoy learning new things in Web3. Uh, so according to the Quant Quantic uh, Foundry Game Player Survey, my game player type comes out to be a gladiator slash acrobat and this means that I'm a very competitive gamer and I will turn to play a level in a game over and over again until I pass that level. So uh, I think this actually describes me perfectly because I'm a naturally very competitive person. So, and I never give up. So even if I fail at, at a certain stage in the game, I will keep on playing until I'm able to pass that stage. So I think this is a perfect description of my game player type. So my favorite game of all time is FIFA. And this is primarily because of the fact that while growing up, I was surrounded by people who were like, who were like diehard fan of uh, soccer or football. Uh, and I remember, you know, it was very interesting to have your team in real life. For example, uh, uh, PSG or Paris Saint-Germain. And you can play with that team, you know, in FIFA, in competitions like Champions League. Or, um, you know, you can use a country to play in international competitions like the World Cup. And it was very cool. So I still play it today and it's been my, very, my favorite game of all time. Uh, I think that if FIFA could adopt some features of Web3, it's going to be very cool because, uh, for example, in FIFA, we have this, uh, this mode called career mode and where you are giving a player and you have to build a career for that player from scratch. So I think that if uh, FIFA could adopt some features of, NFT, uh, of, of Web3, for example, where you could mint these players on NFT, it's going to be cool because just the fact that the, the information about that player is going to be stored on a blockchain 
and the fact that you know you can take your time and you know your energy and effort to really uh, accumulate points in the game for this player or like you know uh, create value for this player in the game uh, over time you can trade that player with another gamer and actually make some real world money from that you know from the efforts that you, you, you actually put in the game and also just the fact that the information is stored on the blockchain uh, you can actually own this information or these NFTs that you generated in the game no matter what happens to FIFA even if like FIFA for example like let's say the FIFA, FIFA bans you from the game you still own the NFTs that you know you accumulated from the game and you can sell it to another player who is going to continue you know playing the game and uh, using it to you know achieve certain things that like they want in the game FIFA is going to become just a very more interesting game for the gamers and also for the community Morales for Web3 Morales is a full set of APIs that connect any tech stack to the blockchain networks. And Morales offers SDKs for many popular platforms. SDK support includes React Native, gaming SDKs like Unity, and the web as well. Morales is cross-chain, and Morales addresses the needs of Web3 games and dApps, including authentication and working with smart contracts. It's fully compatible with Web3 tools and services, and integrates with your favorite backend systems. And for gaming, Morales brings the power of Web3 to your favorite game platforms. Unity's flexible development offers amazing opportunities to create top-quality games and interactive experiences. You can bring the power of Web3 and blockchain to your Unity projects with Morales. And Morales includes complete learning resources, including full documentation and project information, workshops, YouTube videos like this one, and everything you need to get started. With inspiration, like today's favorite game, together with Morales, what will you build next? Morales offers world-class Web3 workshops. Level up your Web3 development skills by building along to unique projects. Check it out today and join our next workshop. We've seen that when creating a new game, we can be inspired by our favorites. Our favorites are determined by our motivations and our unique player type, and each of our favorite games can be improved and expanded with Web3 functionality. Using the Morales SDK and your favorite development platform or game engine, you can use that inspiration and get started on your next project today. Let me know in the comments below your answer to this question. It's your comments and feedback that help drive the types of content we create. To enjoy more content like this, like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Check out docs.morales.io to get started today. Thanks.